I'm down here at Mitch's camp. Mitch's. Yes, I know. <laughs> Don't hassle me. Come on, can we get a little bit more love, love than that, please? Come on. One, two, three. Interview. Interview. All right, we're ready to go. We're pumped. Woo. I'm down here at Mitcham campus, and it's an interesting week this week. Some days are really noisy, but some days around the school have been really quiet. And I'm with Ethan and Emily, and what we're going to do is ask, what's been going down at Mitcham this week? Now yesterday I was walking around here in the morning and there weren't very many people around. So Ethan, where was everybody yesterday? Swimming carnival. What were some of the things that went on at the swimming carnival yesterday uh, that stick out in your mind? It was quite annoying because we kept having to go downstairs to do marshalling because we had to get there about five races early so they could get us into the groups and different people who were racing with. Did you get a chance to swim in lots of different events? Yeah. What were some of the things that you got to swim in, Ethan? Butterfly, backstroke and freestyle. And up and down the pool, all day swimming all of those strokes, were you tired? Kind of. Kind of, but you, but you managed to tough it through. Yeah. When you think about the end of the day, what were some of the exciting things that happened? Um, well, I got a medal yesterday. Congratulations. Um, and um, they introduced, like, they told you who won the whole swimming carnival and Montrose won. Montrose won. Which is the blue house. Which was the blue house. Now, if I think about tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be really quiet here as well. So what happens for you guys tomorrow? Where do you go? We go to Nanu Farm. Why are you going to Nanu Farm? Because it's camp. Oh, it's camp week. And I always loved camp week. I always thought as a teacher and as a kid it was really exciting. What are some of the things you're going to do on camp? Um, we're going to Nanu Farm, which is at High Marsh Island. Yep. Um, we're going to be holding some animals and going for some walks and also feeding some animals, which is quite exciting. Are there things that you're really looking forward to doing on camp? The fort playground. Unreal. Are you excited? about spending a couple of days away on camp? Yeah, because it's our first one. So y yesterday was really quiet here. Tomorrow is going to be really quiet here around Mitcham. But today was really, really noisy. Why was today so noisy? Um, because today is Harmony Day. Is that why you're wearing the orange ribbon? Yeah. yeah. So what's Harmony Day about? Um, I think it's about working together and people being, it doesn't matter what culture you're from or how different you are from different people. Have there been exciting things that have been happening here at Mitchell? Yeah, today? there was um, a lion dance. Yeah. It went all the way like around there and and it went into the EUC and, and we got to go in the EUC. Are there things that you learnt today at Harmony Day um, that you didn't know before? Yes, I didn't know that Harmony Day was about working together and I didn't know what the orange meant. They chose orange because um, they think that orange means working together and rather than red because red means like danger or stop. I think it's really exciting that you guys in one week you get to have a swimming carnival at a big swimming centre and then you get to go on camp and then you get to ce celebrate multicultural extra Australia and learn around different cultures. And one of the things that I think is really exciting is that every week here at Mitcham is a bit different and there's lots of ways to learn things that don't actually appear in classrooms. It's amazing to see the way that different programs are able to build learning in very, very different ways. And sometimes the way that we think about learning in a traditional form can happen in very, very different approaches when we can engage kids and when we can run programs that excite them in different ways.